Hi guys, how are you guys doing? I'm here and I'm gonna make another product review. I am on a roll today. <laughs> so um, I've been gone for a while, so I figured I'll go ahead and just record a whole bunch of different product reviews, edit them, and then put them on my channel. So hopefully that will make up for lost time. So the product that I will be reviewing for you guys today, it's the Shea Moisture, and this is the Curling Souffle. I've had this product since the BOGO sale. I don't know if you guys remember. There you go. This is how much of it I've used. I used about half of it. Since they had the BOGO sale, when I think it was um, buy one and get the other one free. So it's been a while since I've had it. I never got around to using it at first, and then I finally used it. And I have to be honest with you guys, I wanted to love this product because I've used so many other brand um, products by Shea Moisture. I have their Curl Enhancing Smoothie. I have um, their Deep Conditioner, the Deep Treatment Mask. I have um, their Styling, the I have the Ibiscus Organic Coconut and Ibiscus. I have that entire kit, I think I came and reviewed the kit for you guys, which contained the shampoo, the styling milk, the smoothie, and uh, I think that was it in there. So I've liked everything that I've used by their brand so far. So when I saw the curling souffle was out, it was on sale. So I got another um, smoothie and I got this one for free. So I figured I'll try it and see. And I love the smell. That's what I will start off with. It smells so good. I mean, mm, it smells like heaven. And it's made with agave nectar and flaxseed oil. And it's very, uh, the consistency, it's sort of weird. It's like, like it's thick. It's like a water, but with a whole bunch of oil in it. I don't know how to describe it, because I thought it was going to be more like a gel, like a, Kinky curly custard or something, but it's not like that. It's more like a watery, thick gel pomade or something. But it smells really good and it's very gooey. Like, yeah, it's like jello. That's the consistency of it. And um, so I tried it the first time. And I, what I did, I did like I, I did my hair as usual, washed it, conditioned. Um, I used the, the smoothie as my leave-in, and then I used this to style. After I used the leave-in, I put this on top, braided my hair, put a little bit of oil to seal, and took my hair out, and it was a disaster. I mean, my hair, first of all, took forever to dry. I mean, two days. It took two days for my hair to dry with that stuff in it. I don't know what the heck they put in it, but it made my hair super weird feeling. That my hair was dry. I mean, I just washed my hair and I put all this stuff in it. It was dry. It smelled good. And then I tried to put a little bit of this on my edges to lay it down. And instead of laying my hair down, it made it super greasy. I had this like all kinds of gooey grease falling in the middle of my neck as if I had a cherry curl. It was bad. I was upset. So that greasy, thick feeling, uncomfortable feeling, like as if I bathed in Vaseline, didn't go away until I washed my hair. And after I washed my hair, I gave up. I didn't use this product for about a month. <laughs> like I just was like, ew, not using it. Don't want to see it. Don't want to look at it. I actually threw it in the back of my product stash. It was way in the back. Somehow it kept I kept pushing it every time I used something new until it made it to the back. Then um, I, as you guys know, I'm part of this hair forum which is Curly Nikki, and I was on there and I saw a few girls were talking about they was reviewing this product, saying how they bought it, and some people were saying how they hated it, some people were saying how they liked it, and this one girl on there she told me that she loved this product, um, but she used it, but she didn't use anything else after she washed her hair. Like, you know, just um, wash the hair and um, condition and rinse out the conditioner. She just applied this on her hair just like that. I guess she used it as a leave-in. 
So she said, and it made her hair really nice. So I said, well, you know what? I'll try it again. So that's what I did. I went, washed my hair, conditioned, rinsed my hair, and then I put this on my hair and I did a, try to do a twist out. So I twisted my hair with this thing. Once again, my hair took days to dry. And when I took it out, it wasn't as hard as it was the first time. It didn't feel dry like it did the first time. It was okay. But I still had that greasy feeling in the back of my neck that like as if I, I don't like that. I don't like feeling greasy as if I'm dirty or something. So I had grease in the back of my neck, all on my edges, like on the side right here. It was all greasy. I had to keep um, wiping it off. And um, I didn't really, I mean, it wasn't bad. It wasn't as horrible as the first experiment, but it wasn't good. It wasn't great either. So I still was like, I'm not going to use this. This is the second time. I'm, I'm, I'm over this. I'm done. So the third time, <laughs> I just wouldn't give up because I really wanted to like this product. And because I've used all the other Shea Moistures and I love them. So I wanted to like it. So even though I kept saying I'm not going to use it again, I think two or three weeks later, I was like, well, let me give it one more try. I'm going to use it as a gel. Because I was like, well, maybe it's a gel. Maybe I don't know how to use it. So I just had a puff. And I wanted to just smooth my edges. So I put this thing on my edges. And God, I should have never done that. Because first of all, Instead of Alicia, my hair is laid down and kind of like wavy and cute on the side. With my little gel. I put the little kinky curly custard on there yesterday, since yesterday. And it's all smooth. No, that's not what my hair looked like. My hair looked just like it looked before. Like I didn't put any gel or nothing in it. It wasn't smooth. It wasn't waving. It was nothing. But it was dry. It made my hair dry and greasy instead. I don't understand, like. I don't get it. Like, how? Anyway. So, I even though I wet my hair first before I applied it, it still made my hair dry and greasy. So, I had to put a gel on top of my hair to let make it lay down so I could use wear a puff. So, after that, after the third time of failed trials, I decided that I'm not going to use this product anymore. So, I have about half of it left. Um, let's see. Yep, it's about half, and I have not used it. So, I wanted to love it, but I don't. So, my review for this product is that it left my hair. It's thick in consistency. It smelled really nice, but it didn't react very well to my hair. I don't know if anyone out there would have better luck, because some people really love it, but it was definitely not for me. And, um... That's about it. So for my Curling Souffle by Shea Moisture Review, I would have to say no. So that's it. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.